everybody. It's Mary Amick at Yard Art R Us. I hope you guys are having a good afternoon. I'm having a good one. The weather is great. It's not hot, it's not cold, and it's not raining. The sun is shining, so my yard art is drying, so today's a good day. I'm going to show you guys how to do the New Year's uh, gnome. I was going to say New Year's Christmas gnome, but it's only a New Year's gnome. I actually have five of them that I've been doing uh, painting off and on today. This one is actually smaller than one, the one we're selling at uh, the store. So let me show you the one. This is what's on the live that Ashley did. It's 28 inches tall. So if you happen to buy one of these, this is how big yours will be. This is what we have at the store. So this is what we're selling. It just so happened that I had some that were small that I'm gonna sell at the shop because they just basically got cut too small. But I thought this was a good one for me to practice on and show you guys. I have a couple of variations. This one, actually let me go change my camera. Hold on a minute. Let's see, camera needs to change because this has writing on it. So let me swap the camera. Make sure you can see it. Okay, so this one actually has a blue banner. This one has a purple banner. I uh, already did this one almost. He's not totally finished, but I did him pretty good with the hair using a rake brush. So I'm going to show you how to do the hair on this guy. And it's going to look a little different because on the other one, I started with white. So let's talk about colors for a second. So most of the time, we'll do beards starting with white. That's this guy. But today I decided since I have five of these to paint with, I'm gonna do some experimenting. So this is gray number 24. Of course you have your black and you have your white. This is blue and I think actually on the uh, label we put the orange, I'm sorry, the shading purple. But you, if you wanna do the blue, you can. I just kinda of swapped them. So shading purple if you wanna do that one. Or this is brilliant blue if you wanna do that. I've got the light yellow, the shading yellow. Of course, I have my flesh, my shading flesh. And then up here is the purple. And I did add the uh, orange outline for the two hearts. I don't think I put that on the label. But you could always make those hearts any color you have. It really doesn't matter. But I do want to kind of show you the difference in if you start with a white base on your beard or if you start with a gray base. Okay. So what I did, let me show you about this guy. So when you're doing this, here's what I did on the hat. Let's talk about that first. I painted it uh, yellow, and then I shaded the shading yellow. Then I came back and started doing the letters. So why would I do that? Because you always want, I want my letters on top. So I have my yellow, my shading yellow, and I'll just show you what I did on my letters just so you can kind of watch me. I won't do all of them, but I'll do enough that you kind of get the idea of what's important on that lettering. So when you're doing that lettering, I'm doing mine in purple. This is what the banner was done in is purple. So when you're doing that, you want to go ahead and add some water to that paint because this paint will get pretty gummy on you. I'm going to see if I can find it to make it do. Hold on, y'all. I'm see if I can see comments. All right. Let me put this down a little bit where you can see a little bit better. Okay. Hopefully that's better. Now, I'm going to put some water in here, and I'm going to make this pretty runny um, because to me, if you want your lettering to look good, a couple of tricks of the trade, you want to put some water in there and just stir the heck out of it, okay? Once you get that, I want to try to see if I can get comments up here, y'all, but for some reason, it's not showing me comments. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to have to go with it. So I'm going to put quite a bit of paint on my brush and what I do because my paint is kind of runny it's going to lay down in that groove of that line and that's what I did in this case I painted the hat yellow I shaded shading yellow and now I'm painting the letters so really I did the letters as far as the hat goes the letters are probably about the last thing or one of the last things you're gonna do. Cause you want those letters to sit on top of any shading and of course on top of the base coat yellow. So if you'll keep your paint kind of a, a little bit runny, it will fall down in the recess of that CNC line. 
and I'm not going to do every single letter, but I, I did want to show you kind of for purposes of, of uh, you guys really kind of seeing how I did that. And then I've got happy. And then we're going to go right here. I'm going to do my Y. Doing quite a bit of paint here. right here. There we go. Okay. So let's talk about what you're going to do when you do that hair. So what I did, I kind of like the hair on this guy, and I'll show you the brush in just a minute that I used. I'm going to go over here with this guy. So we're going to look at what it's going to look like if I can find my brush. Let's see. Here it is. Okay, I gotta clean that brush out a little bit. So I'm gonna use this rake brush. I'll show you what that means. I call it a rake brush. To tell you the truth, I hope that's the right word. I think it is. I don't really know. Y'all see that? So what I'm gonna do, instead of starting with a white base coat and shading in gray, I'm starting with a gray base coat shading in white. And all it's really gonna do is give me a darker beard. That's really all it's gonna do. So I'm gonna put some paint in here. And again, you want to put some water and you want to um, thin that out. And uh, I used, I think two different brushes on the beard. I'll show you what, what I mean by that in just a second. Phaedra, how are you doing? I'm so glad you could join me. I tell you what, it has been a, a busy day. It's been productive, so it's been good. Thankfully, the weather's cooperating. There's nothing worse than trying to paint and get paint to dry during the wintertime when it's raining. So I'm going to put a little bit of paint on here, not a lot. And you can see I'm just kind of putting it on the side and I'm kind of taking it back off. And I'm going to kind of start here in the middle like he's got a little bit of a mustache, or that's his mustache, if you will. And I don't think... I don't think the emphasis is on getting it perfect because it's hair. So it's kind of like, you know, you don't, you don't need it to be perfect. You just need it to kind of resemble hair. So I kind of, and I'm doing it pretty, a pretty light hand. So I'm not bearing down on that very hard. And then what I would do is kind of keep, kind of keep putting a little bit of paint here on the edge. And then I'm going to start up here. And I don't, I like hair that moves and waves. And so I don't, uh, I kind of make my brush move back and forth, if you will. I'm gonna go up like that. And I think this rake brush just kind of gives it a, a very different look than anything else we do, which is kind of cool. This would be good on uh, animal fur, if you're like you're doing a do the dog or the cat, or any animal for that matter. And it's just giving it a uh, kind of a wispy look. Now, you can put as much as you want in here in terms of the brush stroke, or as little. I kind of think about, you could, now that's kind of a light, look I think so I'm gonna put some more on there it's not quite enough uh, doing good one baby is asleep and another is coloring so I can sneak in hey that's that is good that that's good if one's asleep and another one's kind of busy you are having a good day I'm going to come in here and I'm gonna put some more in here right now there's all kinds of things you could do if you wanted to I'm going to come in here and put a little bit more now, what I'm also going to do, just for grins, and you don't feel like you have to do this because it's strictly up to you, but I have a little bit of this gray. I'm going to put some water in here. Um, this is, I think, Phaedra, it's called a, um, a rake brush, or that's what I've always called it. Uh, and it's just basically where they've deliberately gone in here and cut out some of the ends of the brush. It gives you that wispy look. So I've got a little bit of gray here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put quite a bit of white, maybe mix 
half and half. And of course, y'all know that I'm always putting water in here to water it down because this is kind of a medium gray and I want a really light gray. I don't think this is gonna work unless my gray is pretty doggone light. Not white, but, but pretty light. I would call that a pretty light gray, okay? So I'm not even washing that white paint off. I'm just gonna kinda come in here and I'm gonna get a little bit more of that gray and just give it a little bit of a, a multicolor. I just like the um, the rake brush kind of look. I'm not gonna put a whole lot. I'm gonna come up here where his mustache is and give him a little bit. And again, it's, it's more like a dry brush, if you would. So that's all I did there. Now, what I will do is I'm going to try this, and if I don't like it, that's okay. We can always paint over it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my regular script liner. Those of you that watch a lot of videos, y'all know what the script liner is. It's just the brush that we use to outline. I meant to ask, what medium is that brush for? There isn't one for house paint. You know, I don't know. I always use everything in terms of a yard art, but maybe it is for watercolor. That, that's a good question. I'm not sure on that one. Okay, so I've got the white and I've got my script liner, and I'm gonna just kinda come in here, and I'm gonna make brush strokes. Of course, I'm outlining the beard, too. But what I wanted to do is kinda give you guys a good look at what the beard looks like with a white base, and what the beard looks like with a gray base. I don't think there's a right or wrong, it's just kinda what you like. Uh, honestly, sometimes I just get tired of seeing the beard always, you know, with that white look. So sometimes I kind of just give it a little bit more color and put the gray in there. There's really not any right or wrong. It's kind of whatever you want to do. So I'm kind of coming up. And then I would just come in here and I would take my script liner and just wherever I thought it might look good, give it a little bit of a brush stroke. So I'm gonna kind of come in here. I'm, I'm down here at the shoe so I'm going to make sure I outline the hair pretty well where it meets the shoe. And then I'll just come over here, do this. And again, I'm just taking that uh, script liner and putting a little bit of brush stroke to it. You could always come in here with uh, some dark gray strokes and make that beard look, uh, give it a, a more of a dimensional look too. And I'll probably come up here closer to the banner and put a little bit more stroking in there. And then I'm gonna kinda come up here and do this on the mustache and I'm gonna do some outlining. You see where I have the shading yellow outline? I'm just taking the white outline and just uh, going right up next to that. That's all I'm doing. So my shading yellow will show up for the banner, and then of course the white stroke will show up for the hair. The mustache, if you will. Okay, so I think I have that the way I want it. i give you an idea, just so you can kind of see. That's what that beard looks like with us doing a dark gray base. So you've got your dark gray here, and then you've got your light, your white base. It really is just kind of whatever you like. I think both of them look good. So I wanna to talk to you though a little bit now on the shading that I did. Let me see if I can find one. I think I did all of it. This one right here. Let's talk about this guy. So I used my shading flesh on that flesh for the nose and the hands. And it's very subtle, but I'll show you what I did to outline the shading flesh. You don't have to do it. You can do whatever you want in terms of color for your shading. Um, let's see, what did I do? This was my shading, and I just put a little bit of coral in here. And you can't really see the difference too much, but let me finish shading this little guy's hand with the regular shading color. And then I'm gonna show you what I did 
putting some coral in there. Of course, I can't find the brush I'm looking for because all day we've been using brushes, so everything's dirty. I'm gonna go over here and see if I can find another brush. I'm sure we got lots of brushes over here, y'all. Okay. So here's my shading. I've got the flat tip. This is a number 12. Okay, and I'm just going to finish out shading around his um, hand. There we go. Once I did that, I took this and I put some coral in it. Probably not enough that the camera's even gonna pick up on it. And I put it, and I made it kind of runny. And I did this as far as my uh, hands on my gnome. So I really didn't use a whole separate color to outline the hand. I just felt like I really wanted something soft on that hand and nose. So I'm using the shading color and putting a little bit of coral in there and I put a lot of water in it. And I'm gonna hang out on the outside of the nose on that CNC line and give it a very soft, uh, to me, flesh. No matter if you're going for a light, a medium, or a dark tone flesh, it needs to look really uh, soft and warm. Uh, so I just use my script liner, go out here and hang out on the edge of that CNC line and outline that. And if you do that, now if you like the idea or you like to put a different color on that to outline, that's certainly uh, a possibility. I don't see anything wrong with that. I just kind of like the softer look. So that's what I did on the hands and the nose. That'll give you an idea, okay? Now, I want to try to look at one that's almost finished so I can show you what I did for the finishing. Let's look at this guy. So, on this guy, and this is the one with the white beard, I just basically came in here with that rake brush and the, did the gray, and then I did a dark gray on the outline, okay? And I think what I'll do uh, when I get done with these, I'll take a picture of all five of them together and I'll post it so you can just kind of see a little bit of the variations that I did. I did this in the dark purple. You could do that in dark purple. You could do it in that brilliant blue or whatever color you like. But if you notice, I kind of did this different. I did what I think of as a reverse. I started with my darkest color first right here on my banner and then I shaded in a lighter and then I did the uh, yellow. And then over here, you've got 2021 already done, or 202 is already done. And I just freehanded the one right here. That way, next year, if you have this, you can kind of come in and put some purple over there. You could sand this off a little bit. It's kind of whatever you want to do, but that'll give you an idea. So let me show you <clears throat> on this guy what I would do to finish him up. I'm going to put some white. Y'all know that we, we always kind of like to end in white. And look, this is part of the beard I forgot to do over here, this little part. So I need to fix that. So I'm going to come over like that. And I'm just going to kind of put a few white strokes under here, under his, uh, on his hands. And I'm going to come up here in the hat and put a little bit of white up here just to give it a little bit of decoration and highlight. Now, notice what I did on the shoes. <clears throat> on the shoes, I, there's a CNC line right here. I hit that pretty hard. And then on the outside, I just gave a very, very, very light brush stroke, you know. Uh, so on that, that's how I did that one. Now, I have two hearts, and I did this in outline orange. So what I'll probably do on my little hearts, just to give them a little bit of a, not a lot, just a little bit of a white brush stroke up here. Y'all, I put my finger in that. That doesn't make any sense. I know better than that. Okay, so I'll just come up here and just give it a little bit of a stroke. A little bit of a stroke, not much. I'm gonna show you again on the beard. I'm gonna focus on the beard a little bit more on this other guy because I think that's probably um, the hardest part with that brush. Let me see if I can find it. All right, let's see, okay. Let me clean this, get some of this water out. So let's see. 
Hold on, y'all. I gotta find some gray. All right. So when I when I had the base coat in white, I took some gray with this rake brush. I didn't use a lot of paint, kind of stir it up in there. And I just kind of take it all off again, if you will. I missed this part, y'all. Can't be missing that. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna show you again. Let's do some more hair, because that's probably the part that is the hardest. So this is another one that I started with the dark gray. So I got a little bobo here. Let me clean out this brush. I'm going to use this ray brush again, and I'm gonna show you again what we're gonna do on the hair. Hey, Laura, how are you? I'm so glad you could join me. Um, I am kind of showing you guys on this guy. Uh, remember, this is the one, he's 28 inches tall. If you happen to buy this guy from the store, what I have on my table is too small. I didn't care for it, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint them and probably sell them at the shop. But um, I've got actually five of them and they look a little different. Probably when I get done, I'm gonna take a picture of all five of them and put them up on the post for y'all to see. So I have this rake brush, or I call it a rake brush. I probably really should look up the real word. And I just put a little bit of paint on there and kind of take it back off. I'm gonna start here with that mustache and I'm gonna kind of, I like for hair to wave. So I always kind of do it with a little bit of a, a motion to the brush, if you will. And um, I just kind of come in here. It's almost a dry brushing, but not quite. There's probably a little more paint on here than what a, a true dry brushing would be, but that's all right. As long as you get the look you're going for. Now, typically what I do, I'll start a beard at the bottom and kind of go that way. Because I'm gonna go with the natural flow of what that pattern is down here. So I just kind of, and you can put bear down as hard or as light and put as much or as little paint as you want on here. It really does depend on whatever you like. I'm, I'm going honestly right now with a pretty light hand, giving it a pretty light stroke. But that's not to say you couldn't, uh, really bear down on it and give it a harder stroke. If you give it too hard of a stroke all at one time, it all kind of blobs together. That's why I tend to go pretty light early on. So I just keep putting paint on here and then kind of wiping it off. Putting it on, wiping it off kind of thing. And then again, I'll start down here at the bottom and then I'll move up. Giving that, a, giving that a really good curl or wave or whatever you want to call it. That kind of like, that's kind of way I like hair to, or fur to look. But it really is whatever you're, whatever it is that you like. Now I have that, so I'll probably put a little more in here. I have a little bit more here than I do here. So I'm going to kind of even that up a little bit. Just bear down on that brush a little bit more. And you could just kind of keep going to where you've almost got it white again, meaning I've got so many brush strokes in here, the whole thing is gonna look white. I don't want that much on there, but I'll probably go ahead and make this a little darker than the first guy. And it's just about those brush strokes. That's really all it is. And the cool thing about it, I don't think there's a right or a wrong. I think if you just keep them random, you'll probably be pretty happy come over here. See, I got more over here than I do here. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of get this guy going. I, um, I'll be doing some lives at seven. I just had to do this one today early. Uh, I know Ashley talked to y'all last night about a lot of her. She's going to try and do, we'll always do the Academy at seven. Um, and I'll do some of the painters clubs at seven too. But I had to do this one today because I got something going on tonight. Plus, you know, we just had a hard time getting the schedule to work because we're so close to um, the whole Christmas holidays, you know, kind of thing. So I'm going to put a little bit more up there. Now, I'm going to do something a little different now. I'm going to take my script liner as soon as I find one that I clean. And I'm going to use this light gray 
okay, and I don't have a lot of paint in there, you can tell. Let's see. That's not my light gray. This is my light gray. Here we go, y'all. Sorry about that. And I'm going to put some paint on here, and I'm just going to do this. And I'm just kind of making some strokes, giving it a little bit of a dimension. And you don't necessarily have to do this, but I just kind of like that look to where it gives it all kinds of dimensions in terms of the beard. Here we go. And then I'm gonna, think I'm gonna switch back to my white. Clean that brush out. I'm gonna switch back to this. I'm gonna put a little bit more uh, water in there. I'm going to water this down a little bit more and I'm going to do it this way. So I've got that. I'm going to put quite a bit of paint on here and I'm going to outline this beard in white. You can bring those brush strokes as far up as you want or not. I'm gonna put a lot on this guy just so you can see what it looks like for this guy to have a lot as far as the stroking on the beard. And I'm just taking this wet, very kind of runny white paint on my script liner, going down into the grooves of that CNC, okay? And I'll put, come in here and put some brush strokes in there. I think I like the uh, this dark gray base better than I thought I would because when you put a lot of white on it, I, give, I, I think it gives it a very good dimension. All right, so let's go up here. And do this. And I'm just outlining, that's all I'm doing, and picking up that brush and just making a few strokes. Oh, y'all, I think I got it. Let me turn this around so y'all can see. Hey, Debbie, how are you? A little late. Hey, tardy to the party, but you're here. Actually, I don't normally do 2 o'clock, but today I had some other stuff going on, so I was just saying I'll, I'll do a lot of stuff at night at 7 especially in the academy. Uh, Ashley's gonna try to stick to some of the two o'clock stuff uh, for the Painters Club, just so she can have a little bit more time with Carly in the evenings. So, I'm kind of going in here and giving some more white on this. Getting quite a bit of paint there. And I'll probably put a little bit of white on this ye yellow shade up here, like this. Some white there. Okay. Honestly, this part right here is supposed to be, I'm going to wipe this out. I don't know about, this is actually supposed to be just the background between the shoe and his hair on his beard. So I'm going to wipe that out totally. There we go. That'll do it. I'm fixing to hold this up so you guys can get a good look. It'll be interesting to see if y'all show me pictures if you do the beard with the, um, white base or the beard with the gray. Hold on a second, let me look at one that's kind of finished. Okay, so when you look at these guys, this is the white beard that I used. I started with white 
I used the rake brush for the gray 24 and then I added some black to the gray 24 and did the outline in that color. And now this is the gray beard where I started with the number 24 gray. I used the rake brush and did the white and then I script liner using my script liner using white. And then I also did a little bit of uh, highlights in there when I took the gray number 24 and white and mixed them. So when you look at that, not, I kind of think I'm liking this one more. But either way, I think both are pretty. So it's kind of whatever you decide to go with, right? Here we go with this guy. And here you go with this guy. So when you do it, I, I think I called on the uh, label for the number 26 shading purple. So you could do that. I did one of them in the brilliant blue. And like I said, I'm gonna take pictures of all of this and put this on the website for y'all, put it on Facebook so y'all can see. That's blue, but you could use on anything you want on that banner. And the 202 is engraved on there and then you freehand the one. And that's kind of what I did. I just made a straight line and then I put a little bit of a tail here and then of course on the bottom. And that way, if you want to change it during 2022, you're good to go on that, too. So I'll finish this guy, these guys up, and I'll put pictures on there. I'm going to be interested to see if you guys start doing some of the gray beard, where you start with the gray, or if you're going to do white beard, where you start with the white. But I think they're both very pretty. Put it over here where y'all can see it. There we go. Hey, thank you guys for joining me. Ashley will be... Actually, hold on a minute. Who's coming up next? Let me see. I don't think we have anything going the rest of this week. So today's the 8th. We don't have anything going until Miss Victoria will be on here on Sunday night. And she will be doing the New Year's banner. It's got like a ribbon, a wine glass, all kind of stuff on it. It's really, really cute. And then don't forget, next Tuesday we'll be doing the Zoom through the Academy at 7. And Ashley will send you out a Zoom invite, for, especially for all of our new members. You'll get a Zoom invite. And... Um, we will be talking about what y'all would like to see for Easter. I know some of you talked about religious, eggs in a bat, eggs in a wagon. Uh, even somebody said maybe a, baby, a, a birth announcement for new babies being born. We're talking about that. But during that Zoom meeting, we'll, we'll make notes on everything that y'all think about for Christmas. Uh, some people talk about religious. We always do bunnies and eggs and stuff like that, too. So hope you guys have a good afternoon. And uh, we will see y'all on Sunday with Miss Victoria. And then on Monday with a Zoom call. I think I said earlier Tuesday, but it's Monday the 14th. So don't forget you can see this in the announcements section in the Yard Art Academy Facebook page and in Yard Art or Us Painters Club. It'll be in the announcements section at the very top. So if you have any questions, you can always look at that. Hope you guys have a good day, and we will see you all later. Bye-bye.